The Bible says God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. I want to share something with you. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. When I started getting sick, it was April of 2016, around the middle I really had an issue with breathing, my lungs filling up with fluid, fluid all around my heart. It was a whole fluid issue. The blood tests and the cholesterol and sugar and all that was fine. I didn't have any problems there. But my issue was fluid, way too much fluid. Well, every time I went to the hospital, they drained fluid off. And they would go some more pounds and they drained some more and they I was in the hospital four times. Now, I'm only bringing this up to share how God supplies our needs. I want to share something with you. There are some people, I haven't gotten their permission to share their names, but there are some people on who are regular subscribers to my YouTube who have blessed me with offerings of $20 here, $25 there, $50, $100, and so on. And these people have been a real blessing. They will never know. But I want to share one also. When I came out, this is the reason I'm talking about the hospital, and how good God's timing is. God's timing is perfect. I had two things happen. I came out of the hospital in June. Now, one of my YouTube viewers mailed me $300. Do you know why they did that? They did it so that I could afford to get a recliner. I couldn't I could not lay down and sleep. It, it My heart was doing all kind of crazy stuff when I laid out. I couldn't breathe right. It was crazy. So I had to sit up to sleep. Now, I have been in the hospital four times. But the last time I came home, I was thinking I was going to have to sleep in my bed. I got the mail, and there was 300. My friend out here offered to take me to the furniture store to see what we could find. We went to two. We went to the furniture store. We bought, I bought the recliner. We brought it home. And do you know, I have yet to sleep in my bed since that recliner has been here. I needed that recliner in a big way. And I'm waiting I'm going to give it another two or three weeks, maybe a month, before I start sleeping in my bed. What I'm waiting for is to know that I know that all of this is over. And then I can just take turns resting and napping in the recline and sleeping in my bed where I could lay flat. But I want to tell you, look at God's timing. The day I came home from the hospital... We went to the store. We picked up the recliner. My friend carried it in two pieces. We brought it home, brought it in the house. She set it up for me. I got in the recliner. I'm telling you, I needed that recliner in such a big way. And on my fixed income as a widow, there was no way I was going to be able to get one. God's timing he knew I needed one. It's so perfect. His timing is so perfect. And, and I, I am just here to tell you, God does supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. Trust in him. You have to go to him and tell him, this is these are my needs, Lord. I, sometimes all he wants you to do is share. It's not that he doesn't know. But there is something that happens in exchange, a building up of our faith, a benefit of going to him and pouring our heart to him, as Psalms tells us to do. So I just say that to say, you never know who your blessing is going to come through. Don't be picky. Don't be selective. Don't be a snob. 
God can bless you through the sweetest people. I have even experienced him blessing me years ago through ravens, which means I'm using that as a symbolism. In the Old Testament, God considered ravens unclean. But when he drove one of his prophets out into the wilderness, he had a raven bring him something to eat every single day. So I am saying, trust God. Don't look at the package. Don't look at the giver. Look at God. He is your source. And he will meet all of your needs according to his riches and glory. He is a very present help in trouble. Do you hear what I'm saying? Don't fear. Don't hit the panic button. Know that, and listen, if somebody, now I'm getting this right now. If somebody needs to leave, I don't know what it is you need to leave, whether it's a job, whether it's a husband, an abusive husband, whether it's a bad, unhealthy family situation, even if it's a friend or leaving a place where you live. If you need to leave, leave. God made the whole world. There is nothing impossible for him. Wherever, wherever you go, God can take very good care of you. He will be the husband to the widow. He'll be the husband to the barren woman who has nobody. He'll be your husband. He'll be your provider. He will be your father. He will be your guide. He'll be your counselor. Go to him. He will lead and guide you. He really will. I really hope you get your need met, and I hope you go to the right one to do so. God bless you. Be encouraged. It's okay.